simple, and I'll only ask one more time. Let us search, and then we'll leave. You will do no such thing. I don't know what you're up to, Ingvar, but you will leave my people be. You will let us search, or else. Or else what? Go back to Stalgard, Ingvar. You are not welcome here. Leave me and my people in peace. I'll be back, and you'll regret this. Your whole town will. Got sick of Stalgard already. Here on vacation, are we? Shut up, both of you. Vegard, Ulgard, it's good to see you two again. Indeed. It has been too long, my friend. How may we serve you, my king? Svegard, we have been over this. Sorry. How may we be of assistance, Agnar? Ingvar is up to something. <laughs> Big surprise there. He demanded to search the town, and has mobilized his entire army. His entire army? He is up to something for sure. I fear he may make a move on Amber Creek or Borvald. I think you two need to be here. Of course, I know. Our swords are yours. Very good. Then we must figure out what... Brother Thorlo, have you decided to help? That bastard. What happened? He came to the Priory, demanding to search the place. We let him search the main temple. And when he wanted to search the private quarters, Brother Colin stepped in. His men killed him. And searched the place anyway. They tore it apart. We buried him, cleaned up, and grabbed our weapons. We were to remain neutral until Priv walked. And Ingvar just hit the beehive with the stick. Wherever you need us. We sons of Shore will be there! May Brother Collins be guided swiftly to Sovngarde. I am glad you decided to fight. This may be worse than we thought. What could Ingvar possibly want? He tried to search the Priory and then Amber Creek. Why hasn't he touched Borvald? Borvald. Either he has already been there, or he is headed there now. Jarl Varfred must be warned. Then we are leaving your side. You're in too much danger. Olgar is right. And I must stay to mourn. And to think. That just leaves our friend here. Certainly our kinsman is up to the task, hmm? That just leaves you. We'll stay here and look at guard reports. Maybe we can figure out exactly what Ingvar wants. Go to Borwald, the city on the plateau to the east. It's been locked down due to the increased bandit activity. But his house Karl should let you in. Tell him what has happened. We are on the brink of war. One that will be bigger than any this land has seen before. Warn Jarl Valfred. Time is of the essence. Now go! It wouldn't be the first time his family has done something like this. In the war a hundred years ago, they tried to take the city. Fortunately, it was later in the war, and Sevedil's Bor Valdur had his army prepared for the attack. However, if Ingvar attacks now, Jarl Valfred will be completely unprepared. Borvald is in very great danger. Stay safe, friend.
morning. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any meat, do you? <laughs> Just kidding. Unless you do. <laughs> Most in the foreign land, they simply wandered and they roamed. Do you need something? Hinvar will do whatever it takes to gain control. He's the power-hungry type. Gone mad long ago. You must head to Borvald and warn your Valfred. Safe travels. Stop that nonsense. Greetings. Glanced up to the heavens and saw Seal. the abbot of shore. I hope you're keeping out of trouble. Ingvar's family is held in grudge. They motivate them to do irrational things. I wouldn't be surprised if attacking Borvald was one of them. Despite the treaty they signed at the end of the war a hundred years ago, I wouldn't hold Ingvar about this kind of thing. Borvald must be warned. Talos guide you. Turned at last to the soft when I grow up, I want to be an adventurer no like you. He fixed the Watch out for nasty bandits! And its magic then Thank you again so much for saving my life. I made these special for you. Hopefully they'll come in handy on your next big journey. Come back if you need to sharpen your weapon or patch up your armor. Song, please. Just let me know. has some great ill. I should probably tune my lute. Well met. Dead? How wonderful. As promised, I'll pay you good for it. How does 200 gold sound? Crops feed Amber Creek. Some even go to Borvald. You did? Let me see. They... They gave me up after the attack to save me. They were too weak to travel, and they knew it was the only way I would survive. They certainly passed away long ago. But at least now I can be at peace. Thank you for finding this for me. I hope this makes it worth your time. Do you have a second? Sure, what is it? I... I know that you're not my real father. I know I was born in Pineville. How did you find out? I should have told you, I just... I didn't think that... Please, you may not be my father, but you have raised me for 20 years. I can't turn my back on that. As far as I'm concerned, you're as good a father as I could have ever hoped for. I'm sorry, Kennedy. I should have been honest with you. It's all right. I know now and I forgive you. Tell me, did you know them? What were they like? Oh, where to start? Your father, Far End, he was a hunter. The finest I'd ever seen. He gathered most of the food for the village and the inn. And your mother, Elaine, she had a wonderful garden she spent most of her time in. 
She even continued to tend to it while she was pregnant with you, going out every day to water the plants. They would come to town every once in a while to sell excess crop or game. They always brought me something fresh. They were such kind people. When I heard what happened, I was devastated. Then, a few days later, a merchant showed up with you, just a few months old. I knew I had to raise you, and that you would become a fine young man, just like your father. Thank you, for being honest. I've always been clothed, fed, and loved. And that's all I ever needed. I'm glad that you know now. Do you need something? Wonderful. We thank you for your assistance. Here is your reward. He was a tough one to track down. I am glad to hear his deeds finally caught up to him. As there was a bounty on him, here is your payment. What? Oh no. How terrible. I should have checked in sooner. Perhaps it could have been prevented. But Falmer, you see? How unusual. I trust since you are okay and here that you've handled the immediate threat. I'll have to send some guards to set up a camp outside to make sure the Falmer are stopped. There is no way to know if you got them all. They are crafty from what I hear, good at hiding their nests in dens. If any more activity is spotted, I may put out a bounty on it. But for now, thank you for investigating. Here, I hope this makes it worth your while. Poor rain others. I'll be glad to help you with that. There are many ways to improve your home. Also, don't forget... Now, what would you like to purchase? Okay, I'll speak with a few people in town about getting these items in place. They should be waiting for you in your home shortly. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have enough gold to pay for that. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have enough gold to pay for that. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? <coughs> Safe travels. What can I help you with? Do you need something? I'll be glad to help you with that. There are many ways to improve your home, assuming you can afford it, of course. Also, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations. Now, what would you like to purchase? Okay, I'll speak with a few people in town about getting these items in place. They should be waiting for you in your home shortly. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Okay, I'll speak with a few people in town about getting these items in place. They should be waiting for you in your home shortly. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide that you'd like to purchase some decorations for your home. Where, as they are in this land, there is a giant that's been causing a lot of problems and needs to be taken care of. See this decree for details and be careful. Reports show that this is one tough giant. Be careful out there. Huh?
let Atman know if you'd like to purchase any of the fine meats that he cooks up. You found them? That's wonderful! I wasn't sure what I would do without this. Thank you. Here, I want you to have this. It's made of some of the finest fabrics that I order. It's more than likely to turn a few eyes and impress some people. Grand. I'm glad this won't be happening anymore. I can't thank you enough. Here, as promised, some of the finely spiced meats from my cattle, free of charge, along with some gold. In addition, if you'd like any more, I'd be happy to sell it to you at a discounted price. Let me just check the roast for some finished pieces. Huh? Oh, excuse me. I was deep in thought. Great work. I hope it was not too difficult for you. I apologize for not having a way to find them more easily. It is as I feared. They have managed to remove the incantation from the crystals. That makes these incredibly dangerous. They could only create a stable dream world when they were one solid crystal. But, in fragments they have each nested a portion of raw magic. Each fragment contributed a different portion of magic, but they are unconstrained and unsheltered as fragments. We must reunite them into one solid crystal to control the magic and prevent anything bad from coming of this. While they are fragmented, I fear that the effects of the crystals may bleed out of the Daedric Plains of Oblivion and into Mundus, our world. It's a flaw that Vermina, the Daedric Prince that we think created these, may have intentionally given them, hoping that the nightmare would spread. Vernon spoke in his journal of Volkrund Keep to the north of Amber Creek. Meet me there, and we will find a way to get rid of these crystals. <laughs> 